Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new so far. We are jumping in again. This time we're going to do a greedier mode run as the loss because we need to try and get the unlocks done. We try and get Godhead unlocked at some point. I'd very much like to and we'll see what we can do. Um, last D12 I don't imagine being super valuable here. Um, I do imagine this being quite valuable. And I think there was a chest over here as well. Indeed there was. On use will either spawn a collectible black heart card or spider based on luck chance scales linear with luck um 100 collectible chance at 20 luck interesting i guess i kind of like the idea it seems a bit a bit kooky we got a battery charge yay and we lost some luck we got chucky milk i do like a bit of chucky milk and HP up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, anyways, let's start this off. As for the question of the day today, I just want to basically say I'm sorry for yesterday's episode being completely silent. Um, the question of the day is, what's the most annoying recent tech issues you've had? Because for me, it has been um, the unfortunate matter of having three or four recordings be absolutely useless because my game didn't record audio and my mic wasn't recording audio either. So I they were just silent and I had to delete them all. It was very frustrating, so... Not in a great mood about Isaac right now because, well, it was not particularly Isaac's fault, but it was obviously Isaac recordings that I lost. It just feels like I did about three hours of recording that, that led to led to pretty much nothing. Okay, so so far this box is utter garbage. Minus, permanently minus luck. I know it give you, gives you luck to hold, but permanently minusing luck for, um... Spiders and black arts for a character that can't use them seems like wasn't really made to be used with the lost so much. So a little bit sad on that front. I'm gonna keep trying. Eh, probably shouldn't keep trying. The game clearly doesn't want me to keep trying. I do like Chucky Milk though. Do like Chucky Milk. Oh god. A very very bad uh, bit of damage there. It's only the last enemy though, so we're fine. Right, is there anything in here we want to actually buy? Consolation prize doesn't do much for me. Honestly, this box is kind of terrible. We're at minus two luck now as well. That's that's great. Champion belt, thank you. Okay. Okay, so Chucky Milk's going to be a little bit tedious against this guy, but it'll get the job done. It's actually not too bad now the ghost's back inside him. In fact, we've managed to kill the dude before the timer. Although, I did unfortunately get hit. I can't remember, is this, is this guy one charge or four charges? I think this guy's four charges. I hate the way they mess with the dingle charge with the champions. It, it genuinely makes them so much harder. Which is, I get the point, but still. Right, one... Two, three, four. Was indeed four. Okay. Grab all of this stuff. Grab the suppository, which should give us a decent damage boost or a damage down. Wasn't hoping for that. Made this room harder now. No secret room anywhere. There it is. What do you hold for me? Trinkets. Both of which aren't very good. So we'll smelt them into something else. That's actually not too bad. Right. Down we go. I said down we go. Here we go. Right, take care of these fires first because they're going to annoy me. And I've got a little bit of an idea. I'm going to push this barrel over to like here and hope one of the bosses spawns right there so I can deal some immediate damage. It, it did, but unfortunately it was very much the wrong boss. Hey, that, that works really well actually. I managed to get pretty much both of them in that. Oh, we get Mum's Knife. Sulfur is potentially better. In fact, Sulfur would definitely have been better with chocolate milk there. I kind of just saw Mum's Knife and took it. Didn't think about how good Sulfur would be. Oh well, we got Mum's Knife now. Mum's Knife is pretty good. 
We gotta love a bit of mum's knife. And to be fair, I haven't done a mum's knife run in quite some time, so I don't mind one here and there. You got for us. Ooh, nice bit of cashola. And in here, not particularly the best stuff. Um, the D12, we just used one of those. Not particularly enthusiastic about that. More HP. Greed mode as the lost is just a laugh a minute riot, isn't it? Oh god, okay. Well I'm gonna I'm gonna just stop that before I uh perish. Thank you. Probably should have bought a key actually, thinking about it. Don't know why I didn't. We are Taking some really dumb damage right now. I'm just going to gamble at this point. I can't be asked. Do not like this, though. Fighting these guys where we have to hit them three times. I'm guessing we've got four of these guys as well, haven't we? That we do. Ah, you bastard. Okay. Okay, it's one of those days. So, full disclosure, I've tried recording this video, like four times now, and every single time I've died on the first floor. <laughs> so, that was the first, furthest I've made it so far. Try and be better. Ooh, plasma's not bad. Plasma's not bad. Um, I'm gonna take a gamble here. It did not work. I tried it, did not work. All is not lost The All is not lost. We get a HP up. Oh, God. I wish I was playing Tainted Lost right now. So bad. Regular Lost is very upsetting to play when you're getting HP ups from your item room non-stop. Tears Up is much, much better. A pretty decent Tears Up at that. The Cash Rooms have been pretty abysmal so far, and this is one that has not been abysmal. This is actually pretty goddamn good. Um, I will just straight up buy the Cricket Leg. Cricket leg is very nice. Marked just isn't that great. I'm going to take this and... Do you know what? I might just roll with this. Like, this might actually be really good. And the rerolls constantly betray me, so I don't know if I trust them. Being able to garner extra money, extra cards, extra keys, bombs could be really good. So, kind of on board with that right now. I am liking cricket leg as well for the extra DPS output we can randomly achieve. Quite nice indeed, quite nice indeed. Yeah, there you go. We're getting a bunch of extra bombs so far. I mean, I'd like more keys, primarily. That's going to save me the big bucks. But bombs are also useful because I can bomb shopkeepers. Uh, secret rooms I tend to not look for in greed mode because I find them really difficult to figure out. But I suppose I could find them if I have enough bombs. Good, good. There you go. Ooh, little old green boy. But yeah, I apologize if my commentary is lacking. I'm just annoyed in various ways right now. Like, I've been trying to re record this video multiple times. The tech issues made me lose recordings. I'm playing Isaac poorly. It's just all around my feelings are hurt. <laughs> and I, I, I wish to... Um, I'm also really, really, really tired. I didn't get to bed until like 4 a.m. last night. So, yeah, just all around. I need some... I need a break. <laughs> But I'm trying to re-backlog the videos that I already had backlogged. And, yeah, it's, it's 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 a shame. But I do enjoy the game still, and I enjoy doing commentary and stuff. It's never it's never a bad thing. It's just sometimes not what I had planned. Okay. Good, good, good. Good bit of ka-ching there. 14 cent. Sis doesn't really do much for us, unfortunately. I mean... It says regain in the next room. I doubt that also means regain on the next wave. So I'm kind of like not really up for that. What does the M do? Pick up what the M does. It was. Okay. M is it was. And we get headless baby, which doesn't achieve a lot, but it's a little bit of extra DPS, I suppose. So I'm not particularly too upset about it. Ooh, we did get loaded dice, which I quite like. I will take loaded dice. Um, 
and I guess at this point I just use it, and that's that's exactly what I was hoping for. Yes, there you go. Okay, loaded dice is pretty amazing on greed mode. Um, it can get a little crazy, but it's pretty it's pretty unique. It's pretty interesting. We're probably gonna get quite a few fire rates up and hit the cap pretty quickly. <laughs> long as we don't die super early. I'm mainly focusing on Dingle for now because honestly, he's so much bigger of a threat. Oh dude, that was perfect. We all grouped up and everything. Guy's not going to dive at me? Okay, there you go. Using a lot of flies there, boy. And we will go for, of course, the extra wave as well. Of which is going to be really easy now that I think about it, because I can just set up a bunch of blood right here. Oh, you just, just died anyways. I can set up a bunch of blood for you as well if you want. Don't want to feel left out. Nah, you don't need blood either. There's an easy kill. Okay. Um, and we get this to go with our cricket leg sounds like a lot of fun. Star of the Bottomless Pit. On kill, chance to get locusts. We already have an on, chill, on kill, chance to get locusts. Um... And also, any blue flies turn to locusts. Seems pretty strong to me. Right, we are going to get a curse going into the next floor because I have that new mod that's out that basically makes it so that your trapdoors um, tell you if they've got curses. So some trapdoors are useful and some trapdoors aren't. It's kind of interesting. It means that there's actually uses to going down, not just the end of the floor trapdoor, which I like the idea of. Um, I'm not sure if I already said that in a pre uh, earlier in the episode. I've said it like five times now, so just covering my basis. Anyways, we got something very good here. We also potentially got some more money out of this. And we got a key as well. Lovely. Right. I mean, that is another book. Here's another book. What we got going on in here? We got the fraudulent fungus, the other one. Siva Heart gives us a little battery. Um... I will bomb these two, why not? Great achievement there. Okay. So I've got good damage and stuff now, so we should hopefully mop through most of this. And with the amount of locusts and stuff we'll be generating that all use our damage, or double our damage, should I say? Or is it triple for locusts? I can never remember. I think it might be triple. Either way, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be doing a lot of damage, I think. Be seeing a lot of locusts come our way. Oh god. Did not like the amount of bounce that I got on you there. Not quite sure why or how I achieved that, but wasn't a fan. Here flies. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. These flies are very annoying, but hopefully we can take them all out in one. Ah, I'm going to say one fell swoop, but sadly not. I was going to end the uh, the wave after that one. Do you know what? I'm going to do it now. Just because I want to actually use this and get a charge elsewhere. So let's pop this. Get another fire rate increase. That's up to max now. Good, good. And yeah, we got our holy mantle back as well, which is very, very nice. But yeah, max fire rate. Good damage. I mean, it's not actually amazing damage, but the, the thing is we have a modifier now, so we're going to get more amazing damage as we go. You need to stop, good sir. Dude, our locust economy isn't as good as I thought it would be. I thought we'd be just raking them in right now. Having two different methods of on-kill locust production. I thought, like, every other kill would be giving us a locust by now, but... Sadly, the chances on either are not particularly too high. Boss time. We don't have any locusts ready for the boss. Oh, there you go. There's one. Wasn't expecting that one. I do kind of like having our um, headless baby helping out as well. Okay, we got P. Trying to take out these guys first. Just because, yeah, those clouds can be annoying. Ooh, he spawned an explosive boy. That's kind of nice. We do have some bombs to use, but I'm kind of saving those for um, the shopkeepers plus... Dono, uh, not Dono machine, reroll machines if I need to bomb them. Double eyes. 
Here we go. A bunch of locusts there, wow. Really came in clutch when I didn't need them. Although technically, actually, that did, that did pretty good work. Oh, we got another one of these guys? God damn it. Okay, let's not die here. We just killed this guy without getting hit by him. We can do it again. Did we Did we not get hit against him? I, I, I'm pretty sure we didn't. I'm pretty sure we didn't. Just don't get hit by the eyes. They're, they're the bigger problem. Him himself is not so bad. Right, cool. Feel okay now. Devil deal. You hold. Yet another form of locust production. This is getting a little bit insane. Um... Yes, I guess I'll take that. And then I guess I'll reroll that into another magic mush. I wasn't expecting that. Nice. Oh, dude. I kind of forgot that having additional magic mushes gives you bigger size increases. So. Right. Down we go. Yeah, our size is going to get pretty ludicrous here. If we're not careful. Fortunately, nothing in here really worth having. I will once again bomb you two. Thank you. And we'll reroll these into something better. Sculpting clay. You show up once again, do you? Okay. Um, I will take sculpting clay for now to duplicate something. The D20. Okay, game. What is happening right now? I guess I'll also take the D20 um, when I can afford it. B-skin's pretty good. I don't think I want to double it, though. Bacon grease does nothing for us. Probably shouldn't have even taken it. Do I... Oh, don't re-roll. Do I even want sculpting clay here? I don't actually think I do. I don't think I need it. Um... I guess I'll just take that. I, I just... Yeah, I'm going to take the... Um... I'm going to take the D20, I think. D20 just seems like a good idea, right? Take you out, big boy. Oh, that was kind of close. Didn't see you coming. Oh, God. Oh, my God. The locusts are getting wild. Slightly confusing. Especially with this beeswax thing with all the tears everywhere. <laughs> it's locust mania. Now we just need more regular way to produce blue flies, then we're really doing some good work. Okay, that's not ideal. Quickly end that. Right. Got that going. D20. I guess we'll do some slight game breaking here. It's not going to be a lot on this floor, but other floors it might be a lot better. Okay, nice. Perfection in there. I don't think what we have is affected by perfection, so I, I'm trying to think. Does anything we have... I don't think anything we have runs off perfection. Perfection has no other use other than, stat uh, other than item triggers in this mode, so I don't really think I actually care about perfection right now. I think this Locust Master thing is doing it for me. Big old bloat. Bloat's not too bad. I'm just... My main concern with bloat is accidentally hitting the coins, to be honest, more than anything. And we get, unfortunately, neither of these do anything for us. I guess I'll just take that. Right, so. Do that. Pop that open. Bag of seeds. Nice. Two keys. Um... 
damn it, I don't really know what to do here. Do I stick with the loaded dice or do I stick with the D20? The D20 is just so much more of a guarantee with the game breaks, but you need a battery charge for it to work. And we've only got a few floors left, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll just take all of this stuff and carry on with the loaded dice and see how that goes. I don't know. I'm, I'm very torn right now. Uh, we got another B skin, which I don't even know if that stacks correctly. We got another fire rate increase, which is nothing for us. Oh, for God's sake, there's another seven seals there. Why won't why wouldn't you give me one of them, you bitch? Okay, anyways. This has been a bit of a mess. I'm just going to carry on and see how things go. I will take that because I've got very good fire rate. In fact, it shouldn't put my fire rate down much at all. Toy drum's pretty lovely. Do you have an evil penny here? So far, it's all downhill. I'm just hoping for the all stats, though. That's all I care about. Mr. Dolly doesn't really do anything for us. Unfortunately, these items are all pretty bad for us. Um, ex if I die to this room, I'm going to be very annoyed. Yeah, that was... Wait. I'm already dead. I, I've lost my holy mantle. N no. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, but I don't care. I've gotten way more into cheating recently because this game's bullshit. <laughs> Don't spawn four of them on me. Fuck you, game. Buttons are worthless. Go away. And also, I'm going to be honest. I've tr I've, I've tried re-recording this exact, exact video so many times that I'm not giving up now. Like, I'm not having that. I'm just not. I'm, I'm too I'm too angry. I'm too done with this game at the moment. <laughs> I can't. I can't be doing that. It has annoyed me too much to let me die in such a way. Thank God the Rewind command exists for anyone that wishes to cheat their way through the game. I don't know, I think it's, I think it's more entertaining anyways. Oh, dude, don't. See, now if I die now, that's just legitimate death. Like, I don't mind that. But let's not, shall we? Careful. Got a lot of spiders coming at us here, so let's be ready for that. This is the last wave, so we can deal with it. Full root guys are kind of good. I'm liking them. Right, reroll. We get another magic mush. I mean, it's stupid, but I have to take it at this point. It's just, it's getting to the point where it's, my size is just obscene, and I like that. Also, a run with three magic mushes. That's thumbnail clickbait that you can only dream of. <laughs> Don't jump up your... Okay, that, that 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 worked. You just killed yourself, so that works. Okay, don't you both do that attack at once. I don't know why they're getting magnetized every now and again. This is very hard to dodge with the size that I currently am. Okay, what's going on here? Every item spawns. Okay, yeah, we'll take that. 25% chance. Well, what? Okay. But it has taken away my flight. Even as the lost who has inherent flight. I did not expect it to do that. I did not expect it to remove my inherent flight. I knew it, I knew it stopped you from getting flying items. I didn't know it would remove inherent flight. Should have read a bit more closely, I guess. Blood Earth. Great devil deal to swap with, thank you. Let's see what's got going on here. We got the halo, which I guess I can take halos. Did that like just give me range? What the hell? Yeah, ow. Be back in here. Give me that holy mantle back. Thank you. 
Do I have three dollar bill or something? What's what's with all the randomly changing tier effects? What item do I have that's doing this? What the hell, game? I like... I have three dollar bill, but I don't get how. Because I don't have three dollar bill. Oh wait, was it from the um, was it from the treasure disc? It might have been from the treasure disc. I didn't even think about that. I'm guessing it's from the treasure disc. I kind of forgot I took that. I was very confused for a hot second there. Yeah, there you go. Okay. That makes more sense to me. These pull root dudes do a ton of damage. Okay. And we, we are just doing a ton of damage as well, to be honest. Don't like all of these dudes, whatever they're doing. All the little guys. Okay. Wasn't what I was hoping for. But a lump of coal would be nice. Did give us a lump of coal. Lovely. Right. Another seed bag. I'm actually kind of on board with that. I don't know how a second toy drum would work. I'm, I'm, I'm more preferential to try the double. Okay. It, it literally just quadruples my damage every now and again now, which is pretty nice. We go from 17 to 17. We've got a crawl space here. Nice. Just hugs, though. It's just hugs. This looks suspicious. I'm going to bomb it. Nah, it's just visual. Nothing that I can take advantage of. Right. Down we go. I didn't go into my cash room, but honestly, after last time... Okay, I think I think I, this this was actually the floor where I did go in it, and it was terrible. Um, I'm not really sure what to do with any of that. This run's such a interesting. I don't want to. I didn't want to give it up so soon. I like the idea of this Locust Master build. I might still die to Ultra Greed anyway. I mean, I'm absolutely massive and don't have flight anymore, so... Who knows how it's going to go. Who the hell even knows? I like my periodic plus 52 damage. That's very nice. These little candle fellas. I don't even know what they're meant to be. Like, they're kind of candles. I don't really know. They're interesting, but they're dead. Okay. First of all, let's just do this and see if we get anything good. I mean, it's going to make me even bigger, but I feel like at this point, I can't really say no. Although, how come I only got the fungi transformation after getting four magic mushrooms? Why, not, why wasn't it three? It's gonna be like impossible to dodge. This is my this is my punishment. Ooh, that's a really cool version of that guy. I like that. I think the eye of Balor is like insane, by the way. I think that's why I'm doing such crazy damage sometimes. Also, this guy could easily kill me with his fire spewing bullshit. Okay, luckily we killed him before he got the chance. Well. That certainly, that certainly helps quite a bit. That that came in pretty clutch, I've got to say. That came in pretty clutch. We do have enough for one more item, if we would like it. Unfortunately, there is nothing I'd like to buy here. Of course, you're going to give me money now, aren't you? Right. Let us go. We do have a curse in this next floor as well. I have this, this 
soul of sloth thing, acid of sloth that I'm hoping is useful. We'll see. It did literally nothing, but now we know. Now we know at least. Yeah, damage-wise, things are going pretty well, but... I was hoping these coins would spawn locusts, but apparently not. Keep everything away from me, thank you. Trying to pick up my pull roots whenever I can, because their damage seems to be pretty decent. And they seem to have some um, status effects that are pretty useful, too. Not a big fan of the keys, my guy. Not a big fan of the keys. These aren't ideal. Although the keys... Ah, I've already been hit. The keys do give us the opportunity to... Um, ah, bugger. Do give us the opportunity to take out a good amount of health with the locusts. But that's not... doesn't mean anything to us now because we're back from the start, baby. Back from the start. I have a feeling we're going to be sitting here quite some time. Right, I've just got to hit with my 70 damage shots. Okay. Health is getting low again. The second phase is going to be nearly impossible, I feel like. I feel like that's going to be really where the challenge actually sets in. This is just like, it's a little bit hard to dodge with my size. Second phase is, how the fuck am I going to dodge all these explosions when I'm so large? Try and take advantage of Lump of Coal where I can as well, but it's not particularly easy with this low shot speed because he just moves all the time. I'm taking advantage of it where I can. Okay, this time he's been a lot more generous with what he's been throwing out, so I'm happy with that at least. The regular coins are annoying but manageable. I'm liking having B-Skin here to manage a lot of this excess stuff that I can't. Okay, so first phase is done. That's good at least. But, although this guy, this second phase has a lot less health, this is where like the hell sets in, I think. It's just going to be so hard to follow what's going on with the amount of screen real estate my body takes up. And we've not really done all that much damage to him yet either, which isn't is a bit concerning. Finally decided to move. Oh, the rock smash. No, thank you. Keeps dropping bombs as well, which isn't good yet. There's a hit. The rock smash scares the flipping hell out of me every time. I don't like the position he's like sat in right now. Doesn't bird well for me. Oh dude, I'm dead. That look at that HP. Did you see his HP? Are you Isaac's a cruel mistress, man. It really is, like, I'm ha I'm already not having a great day. <laughs> and the game just says, hey, you know he's literally 1% away from being dead? Well, I'm going to fire this projectile that is literally unavoidable at you. 
And by the way, it explodes. So even if you do dodge it, it'll still hit you. Thanks, game. And now I've got to sit here for another five to six minutes to get back to that phase and hope you don't die again. You better hope you don't die again, because otherwise you've got to do it all over. Oh, this is going to take some sweet time, people. Sweet time. But victory will feel very sweet if I manage to get there. I will say that at least. That is the, the silver lining of all of this. If, if I do beat this, it will feel ever so sweet. I'm liking the magnetizing effect he's getting, the lodestone effect, from one of my pull routes. I wish that was on him permanently, because it's just pulling in so many additional shots. Obviously, it's not going to be permanent, but... It's happening fairly regularly, at least. Okay, so we got through the first phase this time. Good, fine, dandy. Keep our distance. Stay away where we can. He's doing the door slams at the minute, which I'm not a fan of. Come on, Paul Roots, be good to me. Oh, the rock slams. Got all of the rock slams. No, the rock slams. He keeps jumping, dude. He just keeps jumping. I can't handle, my poor little heart can't handle this. He keeps standing in the middle where I can't like line up with him because of the doors. So this time we're doing a lot better, but it's still up in the air. Don't you dare. You see, you see how my character's face looks? This is how I feel right now. I am hollow inside. This is bullshit. <laughs> That's literally the second time he's been on exactly that HP. And I've died. Why, game? Why must... Why must you hurt me this way? <laughs> I just want to go lie down and watch TV. <laughs> Don't be like this with me. The problem is I've still got to get through the first phase like okay enough again. And I'm, I don't know if it's stress or what, but I'm itching all over the goddamn place while I'm doing this too, which is not helping the situation at all. Did I kill all the keys? No, I didn't. Okay, not even close. Not even close. God, God damn, one sec. Okay, I put my fan on. Hopefully that'll help. Even though it's not really warm. Oh, right, okay. We go again, people. We go again. Hopefully this run favours us. At the minute, I do not feel like the favourite. Oh my god, my body is betraying me right now. <sighs> Don't heal, my guy. That's just unfair. He heals again. No. Stop healing. Not what I want from you. Oh, good. You've trapped me in a corner with all the keys. So not only do I have to fight second phase, I lost my holy mantle before second phase even started. Baby. Hell yes. <sighs> this is getting a little tiresome. 
Why did I get nine lives? I feel like I've been cursed. Nine lives was not the blessing I would assume it would be. I am trapped in this internal pris eternal prism. Prism? Prison. It might be a prism. You never know. Oh, ho, 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 baby. Losing the holy mantle on fa first phase without even getting a quarter of his HP down. I might as well just give up now. I was kind of hoping for him to kill me there, but he just missed, so... Pay her, I guess. I'm basically giving him ample opportunity to kill me, and he wouldn't. I need I need to keep my holy mantle into the next phase. I have to. If I if I lose it, it's not gonna happen. Stop fucking healing yourself. Do you want to, do you want, do you want to be here forever, guy? I'm sure you've got a family and kids you want to get home to. Just let me kill you, and you can go home. In a way. You're you're already kind of undead, so yeah. The keys now as well, baby. I think I got all of them there. Unless there's some up top. I think I got all of them. Wait, what? I'm confused as to what happened there. Why are those doors open? <sighs> Anyways, how's everyone's day been? You all having a, a day similar to mine, or you having a good day? <laughs> oh God, just annoying. I, I do love recording, and I, I'll never not do it. Like I'm like some people say, oh don't force yourself. I'm not I'm not really forcing myself. Like I have been put in a situation where I have to record in a situation where I wasn't going to, but it's not like I hate it. It's just like it just sucks when you like spend like three hours doing something and yeah I was pretty proud of the runs that I got and I thought they were pretty fun I did there was some good commentary in there and it's just all gone and it's put me in a sour mood it's happened before I dealt it's not, it's not the first time I've dealt with something like this but just every time it happens it's a real it's a real gut blur sometimes he spawns like so many of these key ones like dude how was I not meant to let you open every single door there? Please tell me. How was you not meant to open every single door in that situation? Okay. This time we've at least managed to keep the um, Holy Mantle alive. So we've got something going for us. Now we just have to keep that dream alive somehow, which is not always easy. Is that attack that fucks me up the most? Because he shoots it, and sometimes it goes way past you and explodes, and sometimes it's super short range and explodes right in front of him, and you never know. This one is also really bad too, because the rock smashes can just go anywhere they like. Like that, it went straight past me and exploded, and sometimes it doesn't do that. It's, it's very confusing. Okay. Yeah. Felt that one coming. Don't like you doing the door slams, my guy. But we finally got him. <sighs> After some trial and error, took a bit of doing, finally got him. We got the Zodiac unlocked and Dad lost coin. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. Ugh, that was difficult. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.